for Alex De Jesus. And batting ninth is shortstop Victor Coronado. Leading off the first for the Pioneers. That's Marshall Hale. 11, Blaine Birkelbach. Goes to the mound. Let's prepare Carson Quick for this ball game here. And thank you for being patient with us on the de technical difficulties. We're back and ready to go, and the first pitch is ripped over to the left side. Lamaster, the shortstop, couldn't get it on that backhand. It's going to go into the outfield. That's going to be Blaine Birkelbach with the first hit of the game here for the Lutheran South Pioneers. And batting for the Pioneers, the catcher, number four, Garrett Helpenstill. Well, first pitch from Carson Quick. And it's a grounder in the infield, but not able to handle it over there. It's short as Lamaster and Lutheran South here with a runner on first, no outs. First pitch to help and still a bit outside for ball one. Okay. I appreciate that. Helping still. Helping still the right-hander, and it's going to be a steal from Berkelbach, and he's off into second baseman, into second base safely. Hale with a bit arid throw on that one to Lamaster, went into the outfield, and runner at second here for Lutheran South, no outs. And the pitch from Quick hit over the right side. Second baseman Yeary can't get it going to the outfield, and Lovell is going to throw it over into Hale, the catcher, holding the runner Berkelbach at third. Couldn't advance home there for Lutheran South, but it's going to be a single for helping still. Helping still finding that gap there. It is going to be an E6 on the master for that first play. That one found the hole in between second base and the second baseman and the first baseman Anderson. And now runners on first and third with no outs here for Lutheran South. It's going to be the pitcher, DeAndre Jones, at the plate. First pitch swinging and fouled back to the backstop for strike one. The right-hander, Quek, looks in, getting the call from Hale. It's going to be Jones stepping back, calling time. Pitch just a bit outside for Quick. Counts it at one and one. Woodlands Christian Academy in their home whites with the green lettering. Lutheran South with the black tops, gray pants, green lettering with the white trim. That one's in the dirt, and helping still is off to second base. The steal. And likely a courtesy runner there for helping still. I'll get the name whenever I can, but it is runners on second and third with no outs for the Pioneers. Count is 2-1 to three-hole hitter Jones. Pitch from Quick, and it's in there for strike two. Quack now with runners on second and third working 
out of the windup. That fastball a little bit high out of the zone. It's a full count to Jones. DeAndre Jones going to be pitching here for Lutheran South. Lefty batter. We'll see if same goes for when he's pitching. And it's a swing and a miss. First strike out of the game there for the righty, Carson Quick. And adding for the Pioneers, the first baseman, number eight, Tyler Helpenstill. Jones got him to a full count. But Quick able to seal the deal with a heater on the outside corner. Now the cleanup hitter comes up, Tyler Helpenstill, the first baseman. Runners on second and third. Here still for Lutheran South, one out. And the pitch from the right-hander quick. Bit outside for a ball. Nice, beautiful day out here, the Woodlands Christian Academy. Finish off the last regular season here for the Warriors. And the off-speed pitch from Quick just a bit high for the home plate umpire's liking. And the throwback from Hale gets by Quick, but will master there, no damage done. Helping still here. The righty with the 2-0 count, one out. Quick working out of the stretch again. It's going to be a time from helping still. Right hander steps back in. Ready to go on the 2 0 count. And Quick gets his call from Hale and the pitch. Paints that inside corner for strike one. And this one's hit up the middle over to the shortstop, LeMaster. Fields it cleanly, throws over the first baseman, Anderson, who couldn't pick it. Tough throw from LeMaster there, and that's going to be two runs scoring for Lutheran South on the air. Helping still going to get all the way to second base. And scored two on what should have been an RBI ground out. But is going to be an E6 for LeMaster, his second of the game. It's going to be a quick infield meeting on the mound between everybody. Batting for the Pioneers, the designated hitter, number 16, Zach Brownway. They're going to go back to their respective positions here for the number five hole hitter, the designated hitter, Zach Brownley. Right hander steps in to face Carson Quick. Looks back at helping still on second and delivers a first pitch in there for a strike. And a swing and a miss from Brownlee, and that's strike two. Wind blowing a little bit out here, Father or Warrior Field. Not much here with that flag pole in right center field, but does seem to be blowing out 
for the hitters. And it's going to be a time called from Brownlee. Quack and Hale trying to get on the same page here for this call. And the pitch goes right over the head of Brownlee. First ball, it's going to be a 1-2 count. Here the designated hitter, Zach Brownlee. Runner on second base is helping still. Hit a grounder over the shortstop LeMaster earlier. Couldn't get it there, and it scored two. And on the ball in the dirt, it's helping still advancing to third. On that one, Hale kept it in front of him, but went down that third base line a little bit away from him and gave Helpin still the time he needed to get over a third base on that wild pitch. Two, two count. Now to Brownlee. Quack working out of the windup again. And the pitch, swing and a miss from Brownlee. Got him on that fastball inside for out number two. Get ready for the Pioneers, the right fielder, number 13, Sir Bailey. Two outs. Now here for Lutheran South. It's going to be the right fielder, Sir Bailey, stepping up to the plate. Number six hitter here for the Pioneers. And the first pitch from Quick. Just a bit high and outside for ball one. Runner at third base is helping still. Two outs here, though, for the Warriors. And the pitch, the off-speed, a little bit outside for ball two. Bailey not biting on that one. First strike thrown here from Quek to Bailey. Two one now the count, two outs, runner on third base for Lutheran South. Swing and a miss from Bailey there and it's strike two. Quek has struck out two in this inning. A couple grounders hitting the infield and Lutheran South has a 2-0 lead here in the top of the first inning. Stepping off the mound is quick. Trying to get out of this one without giving up any more runs. Quick really only liable for one run. First hit by Berkelbach was a grounder to LeMaster that should have been grounded, or should have been fielded, excuse me, but is going to go an error for the shortstop. That one fastball a little bit high. It's going to run the count full. Quick delivers. It's another high fastball to Bailey can be the first walk issued on the ball game. Yeah, for the Pioneers, the second baseman, number seven, Drew Stanley. Now the second baseman, number seven hitter, Drew Staniland. Staniland. Staniland coming to the plate, the right-hander with runners on first and third, two outs for the Pioneers. And Quick stepping off the mound to check the runners real quick. And the first pitch from Quick is in there for a strike.
Right-handed hitter, Stanilin. Batting seventh, wearing the number seven. The second baseman for Lutheran South. Quick looks in, and it's a swing and a miss from Stanilin for strike two. Quick with an 0-2 count here. Trying to finish off Lutheran South and hold the damages to just two runs in this first inning. The pitch from Quick, just a bit high for the home plate umpire to pull the trigger. It's going to be a ball. One and two, the count now for the right-hander, Stanilin. And the runner goes off first, but the pitch is in there for strike three. Stanley going down looking, and three strikeouts for Quick, but a couple errors on the infield. It's going to cost the Warriors Christian Academy in the top of this first inning. We go to the bottom, Lutheran South leading two to nothing. You're watching TWCA Baseball on Vibe Live. Welcome back into TWCA Baseball. Bottom of the first Lutheran inning, Lutheran Warriors. South leading the Woodlands Lutheran Christian Lutheran Academy Lutheran two to nothing Lutheran. after a couple of errors in that first inning for the Warriors. Now stepping up to the plate, the pitcher, Carson Quick, takes the first pitch low and inside for a ball. DeAndre Jones, the pitcher here for Lutheran South. The left-hander digs in, gets pitch number two in there, swing and a miss from Quick. That's strike one. Jones working fast here for the Pioneers. Get through the Woodlands Christian Academy's order in just a second. That's a swing and a miss from Quick for strike two. One and two the count. It's going to be followed up by center fielder Arrington Eason, batting third, catcher Marshall Hale, clean, batting cleanup for the Warriors designated hitter Chase Fuentes. And that pitch from Jones in the dirt for a ball, 2-2 two, two the count. First baseman batting fifth, Augie Anderson, batting sixth, right fielder Ryan Lovell, batting seventh, second baseman Drew Yeary, batting eighth, left fielder Austin Veldekins. Veldekins. Thank you, Tom. And batting ninth, third baseman, Jaden Scrushy. It's going to be a quick little mound meeting here. Not sure what this is about. Oh, gotcha. So foul ball, or the ball in the dirt was, did hit the home plate umpire here. He's taking a couple seconds to walk this off. Is 
going to be two to nothing here in the bottom of this first inning. After Berkelbach for Lutheran South hit a grounder, got on first base from the air from Lamaster. A single hit in between the second and first baseman got helping still on. And then Tyler helping still had an RBI grounder to Lamaster that got by the first baseman on the bad throw, scored two there for Lutheran South on top of the first inning. That one by Quek is fouled back. Count remains two and two. This one's hit up the middle by Quek, and it's getting by the second baseman, Staniland. And in there for a single is Carson Quek helping his cause on the mound. Batting second for the Warriors. Center fielder, number four, senior. Arrington Eason. Sent up to the plate, center fielder Arrington Eason with a runner on first and Quek. Behind the pitcher, DeAndre Jones. Behind the plate is catcher Garrett Helpin still. And the first pitch a bit high for ball one. Over at first base, Tyler Helpin still. Second baseman, Drew Stanilin. Shortstop, Victor Coronado. Third baseman, Rowdy Sowers. And we'll see this next pitch to Eason. And a swing and a miss for strike one. Out in the outfield for Lutheran South, the left fielder, Axel De Jesus. Center fielder, Blaine Berkelbach. And in right field, Sir Bailey. One and one the count here to Eason. And it's going to be a quick pickoff move from Jones, Quet getting back into first safely. <laughs> Jones, the leg lift in the pitch. A little bit low for ball two. Pickoff move by Jones, a little bit unorthodox for the lefty. A lefty pickoff move can be dangerous, but Quek seems to be reading it well. Going back in, standing up. And Jones takes a breath, and the pitch inside to Eason gets away from helping still a little bit, but Quek is going to remain at first base. 3 1 now. The count to Arrington Eason. And the pitch from Jones, swing and a miss by Eason. Fastball got by him. Runs the count full. Here with no outs, runner on first for the Warriors here. It's going to be time called by Eason. And the pitch from Quek is down and low. It's going to be the first walk issued for Jones here. It's going to set up the Warriors nice Number with runners Warriors. on first and second and no outs. Senior Marshall Hale. Stepping up to the plate is the catcher for your Woodlands Christian Academy Warriors. The right-hander, Marshall Hale, steps up to the plate. Three-hole hitter comes in with runners on first and second. No outs here in the bottom of the first inning. And first pitch swing and foul back to the backstop for strike one. A 
be a time called at the plate from Hale as Jones taking a look at the runners on the base pass. Now Jones fiddling with the ball in his left hand, getting ready. And the pitch. Swing and miss from Hale. It's going to be strike two. O2 count here to the three hole hitter in Marshall Hale. Runners on first and second, no outs. And a couple looks back from Jones and the pitch. Swung and a miss from Hale for strike three. One got inside on him for the first strike out of the game for Jones. Cleanup hitter for the Warriors, designated hitter Chase Fuentes, stepping up to the plate. A quick look back from Jones, no throw, but is going to step off the mound, and everybody's going to reset. Runners on first and second. One out now here for the Warriors. And the pitch from Jones inside to Fuentes for ball one. Another pitch low that got a little bit past helping still, and it brought Eason off the base pass a little bit and it's going to be a throw down to first base and that gave enough time for Carson Quick to run over to third so Easton gets back to first safely on the pass ball from helping still when he threw it over to first Quick took off from second and it's going to be runners on the corners here now for Fuentes with one out bottom of the first inning Woodlands Christian trailing two to nothing. Swing and a miss by Fuentes. First strike one. Two one. Now the count. Jones going to step off the mound. Regroup. And he's set. The leg lift and the pitch. Just a bit outside. Catcher helping still. Kind of shrugs his head on that one, but is going to bring the count to three and one. Outfield playing straight up to the designated hitter, Fuentes. A lot of outfield to work with, though, out here at Warrior Field. And a throw over to first. It's easy in getting back in safely. Three one the count to the right handed hitter, Fuentes. The pitch and fouls it back to the backstop for strike two. Warriors making Jones work here, very being very patient at the plate. So we have a full count here now to Fuentes, and it gets by the catcher, help it still, who tries to get it to Jones in time, but not in time for the tag on the swipe as Jones trying to argue with the home plate umpire on that swipe there. And it is going to be a walk, though, for Fuentes. And it's going to be a run scored for the Warriors here. As head coach Brett Cleveland coming to talk about that call there at home plate on that wild pitch. 
Quex saw it go to the backstop, took off from third. It was a close play at home. Luther and South trying to argue that he got the swipe down in time, but did not. Now he's going to meet with his infield and pitcher on the mound here. Runners at first and second for Woodlands Christian. They got one across the board there on the wild pitch walk from Jones, his second walk of the inning. Now man for the Warriors, first base, number 10, Augie Anderson. It's going to bring up the left-handed first baseman, Augie Anderson. First lefty on lefty matchup we're going to see today with Jones on the mound. The leg lift and the pitch paints that outside corner for strike one. Still one out for the Pioneers. Warriors here with runners on first and second. 0-1 the count to Augie Anderson. And the pitch is low in the dirt, helping still. It's going to get by him, and the runners are going to advance on that pass the ball, we'll call it. Did hit the dirt, but helping still has had trouble blocking it back there. And now runners on in scoring position for the Warriors with one out. 1-1, one, one, the count to Anderson. And swing and a miss from Anderson is strike two. One, two, the count now to Augie Anderson. Jones now with runners on second and third, working from the windup. He starts the motion and the pitch, paints that outside corner. That fastball caught Anderson looking there for out number two. Now back for the Warriors, right fielder, number five, senior Ryan Lovell. Number six hitter, Ryan Lovell, the right fielder, stepping up to the plate now. A situation with runners on second and third. Warriors could take the lead with a base hit here. First pitch from Jones is low for ball one. So far, all outs in this game have come from the strikeout. Quet getting three in that first inning. And Jones with two here in the bottom. That one's a bit outside for ball two. 2-0 two the count here now to level. Jones working out of the stretch again. That one is going to get that inside corner for strike one. 2-1 two one now the count. Jones trying to get comfortable here, whether going from the stretch or from the windup. Swing and a miss from Lovell, and that's strike two. Jones throwing a lot of heaters. Start out bottom of the first inning for Lutheran South. Working fast here, and that one gets the outside corner. Lovell's going to go down looking. That's going to be out number three for the Pioneers. We go to the second inning, Woodlands Christian two, Woodlands Christian one, Lutheran South two.
top of the sixth inning out here at Warrior Field at the Woodlands. Lutheran South leading the Woodlands Christian Academy two to one. It's gonna be eight, nine, and one batting for Lutheran South. Up to the plate, the right-hander, Alex De Jesus. Can you not touch that, please? I'm sorry. And that one's hit over the left side. Shortstop Lamaster grounds it and throws it over the first baseman Anderson for the first out of the inning. 6-3 ground out to start the second inning for the Warriors. It's going to be the first out issued of the game that's not a strikeout. Now the number nine hole hitter, shortstop Victor Coronado, stepping up to the plate. First pitch from Hale, a bit low for ball one. Carson Queck working fast here, and that one's ripped into right field. The liner trying to get over to first base Anderson in time, but level, the right fielder not gonna get there, not gonna get that ball there in time, and that's gonna be a single for Coronado. A little line drive in between that second and first base gap. For the Pioneers, center fielder, number 11, Blaine It's gonna be a single for the Pioneers here in the top of the second inning. Now back to the top of the order. Blaine Berkelbach hit a grounder over to shortstop Lamaster, who couldn't field it in that first inning. Got on and scored the first run of the game here for the Pioneers. Takes the first pitch outside by Quek for a strike. 0-1 oh, the count here, one out. Runner at first for the Pioneers and the pickoff attempt from Quek. It's going to be Coronado sliding back into first safely. Quick the slide step move. It's low and outside for ball one. One and one the count. Here now to the lefty, Berkelbach. Swing and a miss. It's going to be strike two. <laughs> Time called by Bergelbach. Quick ahead here. One and two. Has three strikeouts on the day so far. That one's fastball high and outside for ball two. 2-2, two -two. now the count to Berkelbach. And the pickoff attempt really close there to try and get Coronado at first. He's gonna slide back in safely. Really nice quick pickoff move there from Carson Quick. The slide step pitch fouled off over to the left side by Berkelbach to stay in it here. Sets up outside. That one's getting into the dirt and goes over to the backstop. Coronado getting over to first base on the wild, or getting over to second base on the wild pitch. Set up a runner in scoring position for the Pioneers here. Brings Berkelbach to a full count.
full count here to the leadoff hitter, Blaine Berkelbach. Runner at second base is Coronado. The leg lift from Quick in the pitch. Low and inside for ball four. It's going to be the second issue. Now issue. Pioneers, the catcher, number four, Garrett Huffenstill. It's going to be the second walk issued on the day for Quick. That brings up number two hitter, Garrett Huffenstill. Got a single in between that first base, second base gap back in the top of the first inning. Quick now with runners at first and second. The slider just a bit outside for ball one. One out here still for the Warriors. Fastball runs outside for Quick for ball two. 2-0. Two -oh. Now the count to the right-handed hitter. Helping still. The catcher for Lutheran South. Hale setting up inside. That one gets helping still. Swing and a miss there for strike one. Really nice off-speed pitch there from Quick. Threw the hook on helping still there. He just stood there as it painted that inside corner for strike two. 2-2. Two -two. Now the count for helping still. Quick working his way back into it. Takes a couple looks back at second base, and that one runs way outside for ball three. Another full count. For Lutheran South, we've seen a lot of them so far in this game. The runner at first, Berkelbach, just walked after a full count. See what Quet can do here. The pitch swung on and hit over the right side. Yeri grounds it, throws over to Lamaster at two, but the throw from Lamaster is way high for Anderson at first. That's going to give enough time for Coronado to score from second base on that one. On the grounder, Coronado running to third, and then after the high throw from Lamaster, he's going to decide to go home, and that's going to be be the third run scored for Lutheran South in the game. Warriors were able to get one out of it, the out at second in Berkelbach. It's going to be helping still at first on the fielder's choice. And a swing and a miss from Jones for strike one. DeAndre Jones, the left-handed pitcher for Lutheran South tonight. First plate appearance against Quick. Struck out swinging. Two outs for the Pioneers, and he's going to go. Hale gunned him down, though. Great throw for Marshall Hale to get helping, helping still on the steal there and get the third out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the second, Lutheran South three, Woodlands Christian Academy one.
Bottom of the second inning, Lutheran South leading Woodlands Christian Academy three to one. Here in the bottom of the second, DeAndre Jones on the mound for his second inning of work. And the first pitch is high for ball one. Second baseman, Drew Yeary, steps into bat. Second pitch from Jones, the fastball. Yeary swinging a miss for strike one. Heavy dose of fastball for the lefty, DeAndre Jones. Saw a lot of it in that first inning. Had a couple of walks, gave up a single, but had three strikeouts in that inning as well. That pitch low and inside for ball two. 2-1. Two Here the count now to Yuri. Jones the pitch. A bit high and outside on that fastball for ball three. Jones with the Nike cleats the gold on the Nike symbol. You can see it glisten out here in the light at Warrior Field. And that pitch runs high to Yeary. It's gonna be ball four. Third walk issued on the game for Jones. If he's not walking, he's striking him out. That's gonna be a runner on first here for the Warriors in this second inning. Now batting for Warriors, left fielder, number nine, senior Austin Velikins. Stepping up to the plate, the left fielder, Austin Veldikins, and takes the first pitch high for ball one. Jones struggling with his fastball command here to start this second inning. Warriors being very patient at the plate. Why not with Jones walking three through seven batters here to start the game? And that one... Got that inside corner for strike one. 1-1, one, one, the count here now to Veldikins. Runner at first base is Yuri. We know Jones It's a nice little pickoff move as a lefty. That one a bit inside for ball two. Two one, the count here to Veldikins, and a swing and a miss. That one uh, high and outside, but Veldikins couldn't hold up on that one. It's going to be strike two. Two two now the count to the right-handed left fielder. The leg lift and the pitch from Jones. Swung on and miss. It's going to be strike three. Veldikins goes down swinging on that high fastball. Couldn't hold off it. Four strikeouts so far for Jones. All of Lutheran South's outs have come courtesy a strikeout. And the first pitch. The number nine all hitter Scrooge is in there for strike one. Jaden Scrooge, right handed third baseman, steps in for her, his first plate appearance here. And that pitch inside for strike two. Jones working quickly. The runner at first base. The leg lift and the pitch. Swung on to the backstop. Scrooge staying in it. Real high fastball there from Jones. It's going to be ball one. Way to battle in there. Jaden Scrooge fouling that one to the backstop. Staying in this one. 
having trouble picking up that fastball from Jones, that high velocity. Yuri to the indention over at first base. No attempt from Jones so far. That one runs inside for ball two. Scrushy battling back from an 0-2 count to start. Now evens it up at twos. And that one's hit on into right field. Looks like it's going to be foul, but Bailey going to get over there in time to record the second out of the inning. Scrushy flying out to the right fielder in Bailey for the second out of the inning. And that brings up the top of the lineup for your Warriors. It's the pitcher, Carson Quick. Had a single to start off this game for the Warriors. And that ball runs high and outside for Jones. Ball one. That fly out, first out issued for Lutheran South. That was not a struck courtesy strikeout. That pitch runs inside and it gets by, helping still. Had some trouble reading those pitches from Jones in the first inning. And the Warriors taking advantage of that one. Drew Yuri getting over to second base. On the pass ball. Nice 2-0 count. Here now for the pitcher, Carson Quick, trying to help his cause on the mound. Jones the pitch. Fastball paints that outside corner for strike one. Four strikeouts so far for Jones. Through one and two thirds, but has given up three walks. Pitch runs inside to Quick for ball three. Hitters count. Here now to the leadoff hitter for the Woodlands Christian and Carson Quick. Runner at second base is Drew Yeary. A base hit here. Scores one. The pitch from Jones swung on and missed by Quick. Couldn't catch up to that fastball. And runs the count full. And that pitch runs high for Jones, struggling with that fastball command. It's going to be the fourth walk of the game issued to the left hander. Some of these fastballs, it seems like he's not following all the way through with his pitch. He's not following through, release points high, and the fastball is just sitting up there. Now stepping up to the plate, two-hole hitter Arrington Eason takes the first pitch inside for strike one. Still two outs. For Lutheran South, Woodlands Christian Academy up to bat here in the bottom of the second inning, trailing three to one. It's going to be a time called by Eason as he steps out of the box. Pitch from Jones is low for ball one. That one's in the dirt to Eason. Count goes to two and one. It's Lutheran South second in this TAPS Division Two District Five. Eight and two district record with a 24 and eight overall record. This is gonna be the pitching coach out there. Talk to Jones, it's gonna be a quick meeting. Get that command under control here. Jones with four strikeouts on the game. 
but also allowing four walks to these Warriors. The Woodlands Christian Academy sitting at third in the district with a 5-4 record, overall 19-6. and six. Both these teams gearing up for playoffs. That one runs way high, getting past helping still, not tall enough to grab that one. And the runners advance to second and third. Another opportunity here for the Warriors. They had an opportunity in the first inning, runners on second and third with one out. And Jones struck next two batters out. And that one is going to be low to Eason. He's going to flip his bat over to his dugout. Trot down over to first base. Third walk issued this inning. Fifth walk overall here for Jones. So we have bases loaded here now for the Warriors. And it's the three-hole hitter, Marshall Hale. The catcher, number 20, Marshall Hale. One of the Warriors' best hitters on the season. Stepping up in a big, big spot here. Warriors could take the lead on a base hit. First pitch swung on a miss from Hale. Fastball down the heart of the plate for strike one. Jones got himself in a little pickle here. Walked the first batter he faced in this inning. Yiri proceeded then to strike out Veldikins. Scrushy flied out and then has walked the next two batters. One's low and inside to Hale for ball one. mentioned earlier these two teams matched up a couple days ago on the 26th and this one's hit over the left side the shortstop Coronado flips it over the second baseman Stanilin that's going to be the third out of the inning 6-4 ground out and we go to the bottom of the second Woodlands Christian Academy trailing Lutheran South, three to one. You're listening to TWCA Baseball here on Vibe Live. Top of the third inning, Lutheran South leading the 
Woodlands Christian Academy, three to one. Leading off the top of the third. In this top of the third inning. Remaining at that, the pitcher, number 25, the Andre Jones. Carson Quick steps on the mound for his third inning of work. You're all right. There you go. Thank you, sir. Now you're good. It happens. Just leave it right there. Marshall Hale, the right-hander, steps on. He's going to face the three, four, and five hitters for Lutheran South. DeAndre Jones, the left-hander, steps in the plate, takes the first pitch, looking for strike one. That pitch high and inside. Quick painting that inside corner for strike two. 0 2 now the count to DeAndre Jones, number three hole hitter, and the left handed pitcher on the mound for Lutheran South. Takes that pitch in the dirt for ball one. Lutheran South with a single from Coronado in the last inning, a walk from Berkelbach. And a fielder's choice led Coronado in. And that's going to be strike three to Jones. Goes down looking for his second strikeout on the game. Now batting for the Pioneers. First base, number eight, Keller helping still. Oh, wow. And that's going to be it for Jones. He throws his helmet in frustration over there in the dugout. He had a couple of words for the home plate umpire after that third called sh pitch strike. And he's going to be out of this ball game for Lutheran South. It's going to be a big blow to the Pioneers as the lefty had four strikeouts through four strikeouts and five walks, but only allowed one run to Woodlands Christian through two innings. That's going to be it for Mr. Jones after that strikeout. Home plate umpire going to let head coach A.J. Betcher know why his player got tossed there. Going to have to some substitutions here. We have one out here in the top of the third inning. Carson Quick his fourth strikeout of the game on DeAndre Jones, the other pitcher on the other side, but getting tossed after some words to the home plate umpire. And we're going to get back to it. Stepping up to the plate now, the cleanup hitter, first baseman Tyler Helpin still. Got on first. With a grounder hit over the shortstop LeMaster. Had an aired throw, or excuse me, throw in the dirt over there to first base and helping still got on. And that one's hit up the middle right by the second baseman, Yuri, going to his right, not able to get to it. And it's going to be helping still first pitch, swinging for a single to start off this third. Hitter, number 16, Zach Brownway. Brings up the designated hitter. Zach Brownlee stepping up to the plate with a runner at first base. Struck out back in the first inning as the right-hander digs in. Carson Quick with one out. And that one's hit on into the outfield, into no man's land, in the left field. LeMaster, the shortstop, almost able 
to get there, but a little bit out of his reach. Now back to the Pioneers. Right field, number 13, Sir Bailey. Is that one just a little pitch shot over the infield into no man's land? It's going to be runners on first and second here now for the Lutheran South with one out. Now up to the plate, the right-hander Sir Bailey takes the first pitch inside. Actually backs away from the plate, but home plate umpire is going to call that one a strike. One out for the Warriors. Carson Quick, runners at first and second, could set up a nice double play here. That off speed a bit outside for ball one. Four hits on the day for Lutheran South. All four have been singles. Leg lift and the pitch from Quick ran outside. Got by Hale just a little bit, but runners are going to stay at first and second. Woodlands Christian scoring one run in the first. Off a pass ball after the bases were loaded. Woodlands Christian just struggling to find that hit when they need it. Have left five men on base through the first two innings. And Quack's going to call time, ask for Hale to come see him at the mound. We're still looking for that trivia winner. There's a Hall of Famer in the Woodlands Christian dugout tonight. Who is he and what Hall of Fame? Bailey going to take a trot down. Head coach Betcher. Get the game plan from him. Two and one the count. It's a number six hole hitter, Sir Bailey. Quack takes a look back at second base and helping still. The pitch is in the dirt for ball three. Three and one the count now to Bailey. Runners at first and second. Hitters count now for Bailey. See, it was a check swing, and home plate umpire is going to elect to go the field ump who's standing a little bit over on that shortstop side there. And now batting not sure Number he's got seven, the best angle at it, but Drew they are going to give him the check swing there. And Bailey's going to get a walk, but that's going to bring out Coach Brett Cleveland for the Warriors. Box of popcorn. He knew that Coach Mario Barrett is a member of the San Antonio Area Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame. Our very own Coach Barrett. That's Box what. Three box of popcorn. <laughs> All right. After that walk and a quick meeting on the mound from the pitching coach for the Warriors. And it's going to be Carson Quick setting back up with bases loaded here. One out for Lutheran South. Up to the plate now is the second baseman, Drew Stanilin. Went down looking to end that first inning. That walk by Quick is going to be third walk issued. He's walked 
one batter every inning. And that off-speed pitch runs inside for ball one. Bases loaded for Lutheran South, who lead Woodlands Christian 3-1. to 1-0's one. One the count to Drew Staniland. And the pitch from Quek, the off-speed really close to getting in there, but home plate umpire elects that it's a bit high, and it's going to be two balls and no strikes. Stanilin being patient at the plate, just taking those off-speed pitches. That pitch right over the heart of the plate for Quek, strike one. The strikeout, two singles, and a walk. That's where Lutheran South is now. And swung on and missed by Stanilin for strike two. 2-2 two, two now the count with one out. Quack and the Warriors could really use a strikeout here. With the bases loaded and one out. And that pitch runs high, gets by Hale. Coming in to score from third is help still, helping still. And he comes in to score, standing up for the fourth run. Scored for Lutheran South on the game. As that pitch ran too high for Hale to knock down. And the runners on second and first advance, setting up runners on second and third with one out. Is going to run the count full, though, for Drew Staniland. Base open at first, runners at second and third. One out, Lutheran South leading. Woodlands Christian, four to one. And this one's hit to the left side. It's shortstop Lamaster, fields it, throws it over to first, and that one's too wide for Anderson. And that's going to score two for Lutheran South to bring them up six to one. Fielded cleanly by LeMaster, but has had some trouble over there at shortstop. As that's the third error for him so far in this game. That's going to be it for Carson Quick. As he comes off the mound, we'll get you the new pitcher when we come back. Lutheran South leading the Woodlands Christian Academy 6 to 1.
Still in the top of the third inning, one out, Lutheran South batting. They also are leading the Woodlands Christian Academy six to one here in this top of the third inning. Carson Quick, the right-hander's day is done. He went two and one-thirds inning, giving up four hits, six runs, five of them earned, also allowing three walks and four strikeouts. Coming up to pitch now for the Warriors, the right-hander number three, Kai Parker, his first outing today. A couple defensive changes out in center field. Eason's moving over to left. Veldikins is coming out of the game, and Carson Quek moves into center field. First pitch in there to DeJesus, and it's a strike. 0-1 the count. Here now, runner at first is Staniland. Off the air from the master, DeJesus hits one over to the second baseman, Yeary, who bobbles it, throws it over to the first baseman, Anderson, who gets the out at first. So fielder's choice. Now back to the Pioneers, shortstop, number 22, Four. Victor Coronado. The Woodlands Christian. It's going to be two outs. The runner will advance to second on that bobble from Yeary, but able to get that out at first. Now the nine-hole hitter, Victor Coronado, up to bat. The first pitch from Parker, low and inside for ball one. Coronado had a single back in the second inning and came around to score off the walk and fielder's choice. That pitch inside for ball two. Quick started out the inning striking out and gave up two singles in a walk. Then gave up a ground out. Or had a ground out, but it was an error by Lamaster at the shortstop. And that ended up scoring two on that play. That pitch from Parker is outside for ball three. 3-0 the count to Coronado, the nine-hole hitter. I'm sure he'll be taken. Parker takes a couple look backs. The leg lift, and that one's in the dirt for ball four. The first walk of the game issued to Kai Parker. Center fielder, number 11, Blaine. It's going to be the fourth walk issued on the game for the Warriors. Sets up runners at, on first and second with two outs for Lutheran South. Coming on for his third plate appearance, the center fielder leadoff batter, Blaine Berkelbach. Got on in the first inning off an air and had a walk in the second inning. Pitch from Parker is in there for strike one. Only four hits for Lutheran South on the game, but have scored six off some unfortunate errors and walks. That pitch a bit out a little bit outside for the home plate umpire's liking. It's ball one. That one fouled back to the backstop by Berkelbach for strike two. One and two the count now for Parker. Facing off against the eighth batter the Warriors have seen this inning. Berkelbach, the leadoff man with runners on first and second with two outs. That pitch from Parker runs outside for ball two.
Got deuces wild across the board here in the top of the third inning for Lutheran South. The pitch from Kai Parker, and it's fouled back by Berkelbach, staying in it here with two outs. Parker takes a couple looks back at second base and delivers swing and a miss by Berkelbach. That's going to be strike three and out number three for the Woodlands Christian Academy. We're through two and a half. Lutheran South six. The Woodlands Christian Academy one. You're listening to TWCA Baseball here on Vibe Live. Bottom of the third inning at Warrior Field. Lutheran South leading TWCA 6-1 to one here in the bottom of the third inning. It's going to be the four, five, and six hitters for the Warriors. It's a designated hitter, Chase Fuentes, takes the first pitch. Outside for ball one. We have a new pitcher on the mound now for the Pioneers. It's going to be number 11, Blaine Berkelbach. And that one popped up over into right field. Bailey going over there into foul territory and tracks it down for the first out of the inning. Fuentes flying out to the right fielder. Now coming up to bat, the left-hander, Augie Anderson. Now batting for the Warriors. First base, first hand, Augie Anderson. Anderson, I'm sure, is going to enjoy seeing Berkelbach on the mound as DeAndre Jones, who left the game, was a lefty on the mound. The first pitch from Berkelbach is a swing and a miss for strike one. Anderson struck out looking to Jones back in the first inning. It's another swing and a miss for strike two. No 
one runs outside for Berkelbach. It's going to be ball one. Count goes to one and two. And that one goes down looking for Anderson. It's the second strikeout of the game and the first strikeout for Berkelbach. Two outs now for Lutheran South. Coming up to the plate, the right fielder, Ryan Lovell, takes the first pitch in for a strike. Level also went down looking on strikes to end the first inning. That one looks in for strike two. The Jones on the day ended two innings pitch, gave up one hit, one run, five walks, and four strikeouts on the day for DeAndre Jones. That one in the dirt for ball one. Jones getting ejected out of this game from home plate umpire after the strikeout for Jones caused him to say a few words to the umpire, and then proceeded to kick him out of the game. That one fouled back to the backstop. Level staying in it here. One and two still the count. That off speed pitch. Got level looking. That's a one, two, three inning for Lutheran South. We go to the fourth. Pioneers leading over the Warriors six to one. You're listening to TWCA Baseball here on Vibe Live. Top of the fourth inning, Lutheran fourth South inning, batting. The the catcher, number four, Garrett Helpenstell. The Woodlands Christian Academy trailing right now six to one to Lutheran South Pioneers. And up to bat is number four, Garrett Helpenstill. Takes the first pitch high for ball one. Kai Parker in for the game after he came in midway through the third. Got out of that one, allowing a walk and a strikeout to end the inning. That pitch runs outside for ball two. Pitch high and outside, count runs to three and oh. Helping still one for two with a single, a stolen base, and a run scored back in the first inning. As well, got on in the second after a fielder's choice. 
And that one in there for Parker, strike one. 3-1, now the count to help and still. And this one's popped up into the infield. The master running back on it, the shortstop, and he gets under it and fields it for out number one. Now coming up now to the plate. For the Pioneers, number 28, Matthew Savala. Number 28, Matthew Savala. He's coming to this game for Jones. Takes the first pitch inside for ball one. Next pitch from Parker runs outside for ball two. Parker ran the count 3-0 and oh to help and still and was able to work his way back into it to cause a fly out for the first out of the inning. And that one fouled back to the backstop for strike one. Savala, the lefty, looks into Parker. The pitch runs outside for ball two. Lutheran South leading six to one after a couple singles and a walk in that last inning and had an error by Lamaster. The shortstop scored three for Lutheran South to bring it where they are now six to one. And Savala is going to take that ball four. He's going to trot over to first base now with a walk. Pioneers. First baseman, number eight, Tyler Helpenstill. Second walk issued to Parker. Had won the last inning, one now. Still one out here in the top of the fourth inning. It's the first baseman cleanup hitter, Tyler Helpenstill. Up to bat. Right hander singled. Back in the third inning, pitch ran outside for ball one. One zero. Now the count to help and still. Runner at first base. The pitch runs outside for ball two. Parker really struggling with command here. As he almost walked Garrett helping still, the brother, Tyler helping still. But luckily Garrett flew out to the shortstop. Then Parker proceeded to walk Savala. The 2-0 uh, pitch from Parker is inside to helping still for ball three. Count is at 3-0. Parker going to need to throw some strikes here if he wants to get back into it. And the first one is in there for strike one. On deck for Lutheran South, it's designated hitter Zach Brownlee. It's one for two on the day with the single back in the third. That one runs outside to help and still, and it's back-to-back -back walks issued for Parker. It's going to be head coach Brett Cleveland walking out to talk with Kai, and he's going to take the ball from him, and he calls Max into the right fielder. There have been 11 Warriors advanced college baseball after Ryan the Lovell. Over the last four years. Congratulations, Max. You get your box of hot popcorn. And Looks like could be the new pitcher coming on here for the Warriors. We're in the top of the sixth inning, one out. Lutheran South.
leading 6-1 to one over the Woodlands Christian Academy. We'll be back with the new pitcher after this. Top of the fourth inning, Lutheran South six, the Woodlands Christian Academy one. We have a new pitcher on the round on the mound for the Warriors. It's number five, Ryan Level. Coming out of right field. Kai Parker shooting over to shortstop. And Dane LeMaster is going to go out to right for the Warriors. Runners on first and second. It's going to be the designated hitter, Zach Brownlee, the right-hander stepping up to the plate. And this one's hit high and away over to the left side, really close to being foul. Got over that fence, but it is going to be ruled foul there by the home plate umpire. Brownlee really got into that one. Maybe a few feet away from a home run there, but is going to be foul for strike one. Kai Parker, one innings pitch, zero hits. No runs so far, but is liable for the two runners on base. Three walks and one strikeout on the day. Brownlee fouling that one to the backstop for strike two. Lutheran South leading Woodlands Christian Academy. Six to one here in the top of the fourth inning. Leg lift and the pitch, the off speed. Gets Brownlee to pull that one over to the shortstop Parker. Who doesn't have a play on it as he backhand that one, but not enough time to get up and throw over to first. And Brownlee's gonna get in there with the single. Now for the Pioneers, right fielder, number 13, Sir Bailey. So base is loaded now here for the number six hitter, Sir Bailey. Has two walks on the game. Hasn't needed to swing the bat yet. It might have to here from Lovell as he gets that one in there for strike one. Kai Parker, the shortstop, starting this inning on the mound. First batter flying out to the outfield for the first out and then proceeded to walk the next two batters. 
And that curveball from Lovell, a little bit outside, it's going to be ball one. Brownlee there with the single against Lovell. It loads the bases here with one out for the Pioneers. And that one's low for ball two. Lutheran South has only gone up against TWCA once this year. That was back on Tuesday this week where they ended up beating the Warriors 9-1. to one. Moving in their district record, 8-2. That one's low and inside for ball three. Warriors just struggling with command tonight. Six walks on the game so far for TWCA. The righty level looks in to his catcher Hale, the leg lift and the pitch. That one gets the outside corner for strike two. Lutheran South only behind Second Baptist in the district. Got to see Second Baptist here earlier this month against Woodlands Christian Academy. Oswalt, and that one's hit to the backstop. Staying in it here, it's a full count here to Sir Bailey. Lutheran South with a better overall record than Second Baptist at 24 and 8. Second Baptist only at 20 and 6. But the district standings is what you worry about. And right now, Second Baptist at 10 and 1 and Lutheran South at 8 and 2. That's going to be a walk. First walk issued by Lovell, but it is going to cost yeah, the Woodlands Christian a run there. It's Matthew Savala. Trots in a home plate, and it's going to be the third walk on the game for Sir Bailey. Can't stay off the bases. Now coming up to bat, second baseman Drew Staniland struck out in the first and got on in the third off an error from the shortstop LeMaster. This one's popped up into the infield. Second baseman Yuri on the right side getting under it and gloves it and records the second out of the inning. Yep, infield fly there, exactly. So runners are going to stay on the bases. Yeah, batting for the Pioneers, left fielder number 24. On that Axel one. De Jesus. Lovell really needing that one. Coming back off three walks issued so far in this inning for the Warriors. Now Axel De Jesus. Stepping up to the plate with bases loaded. Takes the off-speed pitch outside for ball one. So far, Kai Parker has given up one earned run after that walk from Bailey. Walked in his batter, Savala, that he faced earlier in this inning. That one's in there for strike one. That pitch is in the dirt. Hale keeping it in front of him though, going down that third base line. It's going to be ball two, but keeps the runners on the bases. Only four hits, or five hits for Lutheran South on the game today, netting them seven runs. Leg lift and the pitch 
from level. It's high and inside for ball three. Three one the count to the right hander, De Jesus. Swung on and popped up into the infield over on the right side. It's first baseman Anderson calling off Yuri. And he's going to get that one recording the third out of the inning. So the Warriors leave the bases stranded. Lutheran South scores one, though, and leads 7-1 to one going in the bottom of the fourth inning. You're watching TWCA Baseball on Vibe Live. Bottom of the fourth inning, Woodlands Christian Academy trailing Lutheran South 7-1. to one. Blaine Bergelbach on the mound for a second Very inning of work. The and the first pitch outside for ball one. It's going to be a 7-8-9 hitters for the Woodlands Christian Academy. Second baseman Drew Yeary steps in, takes second pitch outside for ball two. 2-0 the count. Here now to Berkelbach, who had a 1-2-3 third inning. Fly out to right field, and then proceeded to strike out the next two batters. That one's in there for strike one. Woodlands Christian Academy have left five on the bases so far in this ball game. And that one runs outside for ball three. 3-1, the count now to Yuri. Warriors would really like to get a base runner on here in the bottom of the fourth inning, trailing six. Trailing by six, excuse me. And a swing and a miss by Yuri. Runs the count full. Berkelbach, the left-hander, has scored a run for his ball club so far in this game. Had a walk in the second, and Yuri threw his bat on the way, walking to first base, and home plate umpire stopped him there and called it strike three. So Yuri goes down looking for the first out of the inning. And he's going to bunt. It's going to be... Berkelbach getting to it and throwing a rocket over to Helpenstill, who couldn't get it. It goes all the way back to the wall. And it's going to be Kai Parker, and they tried to send him to go home. He would have had it, but stopped at third. And, yeah, coach was telling him to go, head coach Cleveland, but was staring at the ball and wasn't paying attention, stopped at third on that one. But Kai Parker... 
getting on third base for the Warriors here. It's going to be an error on Berkelbach on the throw. On that bunt from Parker. This one's popped up on the right side in foul territory. Lutheran South got to it. It was second baseman Staniland out in foul territory, but the throw was not in time for Kai Parker, who tagged up from third, scoring second run of the game here for the Warriors. Number two is a really off hitter. Senior Carson Quack. Technical issue with the crowd, Mike, fall in there. It's going to be top of the order, Carson Queck up, takes the first pitch for a ball. Next off-speed pitch by Berkelbach is in there for a strike. One, one, the count. That runs outside for ball two. Berkelbach with three strikeouts on the game. Has not allowed a hit yet to the Woodlands Christian Academy, but Kai Parker able to get on off the air. And that one's going to get over the wall on that left side, but it is going to go foul. Quick definitely had enough to get that one over. Just needs to straighten it up here. Runs the count two to two with two outs. Deuces wild for Quick. And takes that one into the dirt for ball three. Running the count full. Quick had a single back in the first inning and had a walk in the second. He's been on base both times. And this pitch hit right back up the middle, just like he did to lead off the game. That's going to be a single here for the Warriors. Now ready for the Warriors. Number four, Arrington Eason. Arrington Eason now stepping up to the plate for the Warriors with two outs. Runner on first and quick. After that single up the middle off Berkelbach, his first hit, he's given up. That pitch outside for ball one. Marshall Hale, the catcher, on deck, warming up for the Warriors. That one's in the dirt for ball two. Eason with two walks on the day. Has been one of those five runners stranded on the base paths. Berkelbach, the leg lift and the pitch. The off-speed in the dirt for ball three. 3-0 three -oh now the count to Eason. So far, the Warriors have given up five walks. Or excuse me, the Pioneers have given up five walks in Lutheran South. DeAndre Jones, the starter, gave up all five. Berkelbach just gave up his first there to Eason. It's going to move runners at first and second here for the Warriors. Coming up to the plate, the catcher, Marshall Hale. Be a quick meeting at the mound between the catcher helping still and Berkelbach. The rest of the infield came in to join them. They're now going to separate. Now batting for the Warriors, catcher number 20, senior Marshall Hale. Two outs. For Lutheran South here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Runners at first and second for the three-hole hitter, Marshall Hale. The pitch 
is outside, got by helping still. And both runners are going to advance on the wild pitch. So now big opportunity here for Hale. He also had a big opportunity back in the second inning. Had bases loaded with two outs. Very similar situation. Ended up grounding out to the shortstop, Coronado, who flipped it over to second base for the final out of the inning. That off-speed pitch didn't break at all for Berkelbach, and it's going to be ball two. Two zero. Now the count to Hale. And the pitch from Berkelbach just didn't break enough into that strike zone. It's going to be ball three. 3-0. Three -oh. Now the count to the three-hole hitter, Marshall Hale. Berkelbach yet. Had yet to give up a walk in this game before gave one up to Eason, the batter prior to Hale. And Hale sees that one and hits it over to shortstop Coronado, fields it, throws over to first base, helping still, and gets the third out of the inning. Woodlands Christian Academy trying to catch up, scoring one in this bottom of the fourth inning. We go to the fifth. They still trail Lutheran South 7-2. You're watching TWCA Baseball on Vibe Live. Top of the fifth inning, Lutheran South leading over the Woodlands Christian Academy 7-2. It's Lutheran South up to bat, 9-1 and two hitters. Starting off, shortstop, Victor Coronado. One for one on the day with a walk. Had a single and a run scored back in the second inning. Brian Lovell back on the mound for the Warriors. First pitch is in there. Inside for ball one. Woodlands Christian Academy have walked seven batters on the day through four innings. Been a big reason why Lutheran South leads here seven to two. That pitch high for ball two. Five hits on the day for the Pioneers. Two hits on the day for the Warriors. A pitch from Lovell is outside for ball three. Three and zero oh now the count to the nine hole hitter, Victor Coronado. Go ahead, 
That pitch is in there for strike one from Lovell. bit check swing into foul territory. Went a far way into the outfield for Coronado, but LeMaster out there in right field not able to get to that one. It's going to run the count full here for Lovell after starting 3-0, and working his way back into it. Right-hander. The pitch, and this one's batted into right field. LeMaster going back on it, and he's going to secure it for the first out of the inning. First time he's had some work out there in right. Get the legs moving out there for the first out of this top of the fifth inning. Now back to the top of the order. For the Pioneers, it's the center fielder, Blaine Berkelbach. He fouls this one back to the backstop for strike one. Berkelbach, 0 for 2 on the day. Got on first base in the first inning with an error and scored a run. This time comes around to bunt but backs away for ball one. Had a walk in the second inning and struck out to end the third. Here now in the fifth inning, the 1-1 one, one count and one out. Nobody on for Lutheran South. Comes around to bunt again, tries to put this one down, but he's going to miss that for strike two. 1-2, one, now the count with one out. Here in the top of the fifth inning. Level has come in for the Warriors and only given up a hit and a walk. Other than that, everybody else has flied out. One and two the count and the pitch. And the off speed got Berkelbach, but he was able to foul it back to stay alive. And that pitch from Lovell got him. Berkelbach, the swing and the miss on that off-speed pitch a little bit in front of it. And that's the first strikeout of the game for Ryan Lovell. Now coming up to the plate, the catcher, Garrett Helpin still. It's the Warriors trying to get their first one, two, three outing of the game here. And that off-speed pitch just runs a bit high for the home plate umpire. I've noticed so far in this game, if the off-speed pitch doesn't break enough for him, he's not going to call that a strike. Help it still starts 1-0. and oh. That one gets that inside corner for strike one. This be big for the Warriors to get out of this one. One, two, three, quick inning. They've had all but that so far through five, or through four, excuse me. Swing and the miss by helping still, and that's strike two. One and two, the count with two outs. Level the leg lift in the pitch, is in the dirt. Gets by Hale, but nobody on base. So no harm done. We have twos across the board here at Warrior Field. Top of the fifth inning, Lutheran South leading Woodlands Christian Academy seven to two. And the pitch to help and still. And a little bit outside for Lovell there. It's gonna be three two now, count runs full.
full count pitch is in the dirt for ball four. Second walk issued to Ryan Lovell on the game. And the eighth walk total issued by the Warriors. It's going to be Matthew Savala. Center fielder in now. Looks like we're making sure the right players are in here. Home plate umpire talking with head coach A.J. Betcher. Making sure his lineup is right. Matthew Savala, his first at bat, he had a walk and ended up scoring the seventh run for Lutheran South back in the fourth. Lovell now has to work with the runner at first base, working out of the stretch. The sidestep pitch, the check swing foul by Savala for strike one. shaded just a little to the right here to Savala. It's going to be a pickoff attempt by Lovell and helping still sliding back into first safely. Swung on and missed from Savala there. That's strike two. Level ahead here, the no two count, two outs. Trying to leave a runner stranded at first and helping still. Sidestep pitch runs high and outside for ball one. setting up outside and just a little bit too much outside for the home plate umpire to call that one and go back to twos across the board. Pitch from Lovell is in there for strike three. Froze the batter in Savala. He goes down looking for the third out in the inning. Through four and a half, Lutheran South leading the Woodlands Christian Academy seven to two. You're watching TWCA Baseball here on Vipe Live.
bottom of the fifth inning. Out here at Warrior Field, the Woodlands Christian Academy trailing Lutheran South right now, 7-2. to two. It's going to be Chase Fuentes, the cleanup hitter, on for the Warriors. Here and takes first pitch inside for ball one. Four, five, and six hitters up for the Woodlands Christian Academy. Takes that second one outside for ball two. Blaine Berkelbach on the mound for his third inning of work. And this one's ripped over the shortstop. Coronado grounds it, throws it over to Helpenstill for the first out of the inning. 6-3 ground out for Fuentes. That brings up the first baseman, left-hander, Augie Anderson. Anderson's 0 for 2 on the day. Went down with a couple strikeouts looking. See if the lefty can get back into it. Here in the bottom of the fifth inning, one out. Berkelbach, the delivery pitch. And home plate umpire Alex Anderson went on that check swing for strike one. Berkelbach, since he's come in, has given up no, has given up one run. Came unearned, though, as it was an error from him, actually. Now, excuse me, that is going to be on him. It was the bunt, but he had a bad throw over to first base. And that one's inside for ball one. It's 1-1 one, one count now to Anderson. It's a bunt by Kai Parker, who got it down. The bad throw from Berkelbach got Parker all the way over to third base, and he was able to score on the sacrifice fly. That one's over left field side, foul for strike two. Two two count and the check swing and home plate umpire Alexity went. Really close call there though, but it's gonna be Anderson going down with another strikeout, his third of the game. Berkelbach with his fourth. Ryan Lovell up to bat. Takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Lovell also 0 for 2. A couple strikeouts on the day. One runs high for Berkelbach. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs for the Warriors here in the bottom of the fifth inning. That one crosses home plate for strike one. 2-1, Two, one. now the count. That one's in there for strike two. Deuce is wild. Level at the plate. Backs out that off-speed pitch. Runs the count full. The lefty Berkelbach had a walk in the previous inning to Eason. Takes a little bit of time here to get the call from his catcher helping still, and Level's going to ask for time. This one's popped up into the infield. The shortstop Coronado coming in on it. And he's going to glove that one for the third out of the inning. One, two, three inning for Lutheran South. We go to the sixth. Lutheran South leading the Woodlands Christian Academy seven to two.
top of the sixth inning. The Woodlands Christian Academy trails Lutheran South seven to two. It's gonna be Lutheran South up to bat. Four, five, and six hitters coming up. It's gonna be first baseman Tyler helping still. Right hander comes in 0 for 1 with a single in the third inning and a walk in the fourth. The pitch from Lovell is hit over in the right field. It does get foul. Just getting in on that right field line goes all the way to the wall in that back corner. It's going to be a stand up double for Tyler helping still. Coming right for the Pioneers, designated hitter, number 16, Zach Brownlee. Helping still working a little inside out action there. So that one just gets in to that right field line. Leadoff double for Lutheran South. Now coming up to the plate, designated hitter, Zach Brownlee. He's two for three on the day with a couple singles. Takes the first off-speed pitch in by Lovell for a strike. <laughs> 0 1 the count to Brownlee. The runner at second. Ryan Lovell on the mound for his third inning of work. Takes a couple look back. Takes a couple looks back at Helpin, still on second, and delivers a pitch. It's gonna hit Brownlee. That off speed just didn't break for level. It's gonna be first hit by pitch issued on the game for level. It's gonna send Brownlee over to first. Now with runners on first and second, with no outs. Now it's the right fielder, Sir Bailey, stepped up, stepping up to the plate. Excuse me, he's actually moved to center field. Bailey has, takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Right hander really crowding the plate. They're on level. And this one he turns and rips. This one's going back and back over the left fielder's head in Eason, and that one's gone. Sir Bailey with a 1-0 count. He's gonna get that inside fastball. He's gonna pull the hands forward and get to that one for a three-run homer. Three run score on that home run by Bailey. And we got a quick sale. Five dollar pizzas and three dollar burgers for all that last. Stop down to Chef Sean before we close it up after this inning. Now, score goes Nine, to 10 to 2. Years, number seven, second baseman, Drew Stanley. For Lutheran South. All these could do on that one is look up. Level now having to shake that one off. Face number seven hole hitter in Drew Stanilin. He's 0 for 3 on the day. The strikeout. And that pitch in there for strike one. Count goes to one ball, one strike. Still no outs here in the top of the sixth inning. Lutheran South up to bat. That one runs high for level for ball two. The Warriors were able to get out of the last inning with no runs. Other than that inning, they've allowed at least one run to the Pioneers every inning. That one's low and inside for ball three. Count moves now to three and one. Level 
Campbell looks into Hale. It's calling the pitch, and this one's ripped. Left center field. They're going back, going back on it, and that one's gone. Quack and Eason were both running back in that gap. But that's going to be back-to-back -back home runs for Lutheran South as Drew Staniland took a beat into that one. It's going to get Brett Cleveland, head coach of the Woodlands Christian Academy, out of the dugout there. As he goes and most likely retrieves the ball from Ryan Lovell here. Looks like they're just going to talk real quick. Lovell giving up back-to-back -back home runs. Though to Lutheran South. Looks like head coach Brett Cleveland is going to let Ryan Lovell stay on the mound here in the top of the sixth inning. It's the infield trying to give him some words of encouragement, some pats on the back for Lovell after a tough inning he's had. Since he's coming in, he hasn't given up any runs through two full innings. But now here in the top of the sixth, has given up a double, hit by pitch, a three-run homer, and then a solo shot by Lutheran South and the Pioneers. Coming up to the plate now. The eight hole hitter. It's going to be a pinch hitter for the Pioneers. It's going to be number 13, Zeke Ramirez, the left hander coming up to the plate for her his first plate appearance here. Takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Ramirez taking that one as well for ball two. 2-0 two -oh now. The count here to Ramirez coming in for Axel De Jesus. Pitch from Lovell. It's in there, but fouled back by Ramirez for strike one. outside to Ramirez 3-1 now the count hitters count for Ramirez the left-hander level throws that one over the plate and Ramirez bats that one back foul count runs full See what Lovell can do here. After giving up those back-to-back -back home runs. The leg lift and the pitch from Lovell is low for ball four. First walk issue to the inning for Lovell and his third walk on the game. Now it's going to bring out Brett Cleveland again. It looks like he has his man with him that's going to be pitching. We'll get you his name and the rest of this top of the sixth inning after this short break. Lutheran Southern leading Woodlands Christian Academy 11-2. You're watching TWCA Baseball here on Vibe Live.
top of the sixth inning. Lutheran South leading the Woodlands Christian Academy 11 to two. No outs here in the top of the sixth inning. Four runs have been scored by Lutheran South after Ryan Level giving up back-to-back -back home runs. He finishes his day throwing one and two-thirds inning, giving up four hits, four runs, three walks, and two strikeouts on the day for Level. And he trots back out to right field as Stort York, the right-hander for the Warriors, is on the bump. And the first pitch to Victor Coronado is in there for strike one. That one grounded over the third baseman, Scrooshy. And he's going to watch it go past him foul. Level before this sixth inning was doing really well. Had only given up one hit. He had given up two walks, but had two strikeouts on the day. And unfortunately for him and the Warriors, Lutheran South through this sixth inning had his number. 0-2, now the count to Coronado. The pitch really close, but just a bit inside for a ball. One and two now the count. As Coronado looks over at first base. Ramirez, the off-speed pitch, and it's popped up. And the infield, it's going to be catcher Hale calling everybody off, and he dives for it, and he can't catch it. They are luckily, though, going to get the force out at second as Ramirez had to stay put there at first. But Hale not able to get that one. Maybe the wind possibly took that ball away from his dive to get that there. But no harm done as Coronado gets over to first off the fielder's choice. Runner on first with one out. And the first pitch to Berkelbach. It's outside for a ball. Berkelbach, the leadoff hitter for Lutheran South. It's 0 for 3. The walk in the game and a couple strikeouts. This one's ripped over the left side. Shot right in between the shortstop and third baseman, Parker and Scrushy. It's going to be a single for the Pioneers. The first hit of the day for Berkelbach. That brings up number two hole hitter, Garrett Helping still. It's one for three on the day with a walk as well. Eighth hitter faced this inning by the Warriors. Runners on first and second with one out. Taking a bit of a time to get the call here is Stuart York, the right-hander on for the Warriors. And the pitch runs inside for ball one. Helping still the 1-0 count here. A base hit can get this into run rule territory. And that one is outside and Hale coming up, throwing hot over to the first baseman Anderson, but he's not able to handle it. And that's going to get Berkelbach over to first. Or excuse me, that's going to be Coronado from second going over to third. Berkelbach was over at first base as he had a bit of a lead. Hale thought he could catch him, but threw a bounce bounce throw to Anderson, not able to get it, went to the outfield. Runners on the corners now with one out, 1-1 one, one count. This one fouled back by helping still for the second strike. 
One, two now. The count to the catcher, Garrett Helpin still. Story York, the right hander on the mound, takes a couple looks and Helpin still hits that one to the right side over to short. They're gonna get one over at second base on the force out, but they're gonna score Coronado on that fielder's choice. Ninth hitter, Warriors are going to face this inning. It's the lefty, Matthew Savala, coming in. 0 for 1 on the day with a walk and a strikeout. Takes the first pitch inside for ball one. Lutheran Southern. The Lutheran South now leading 12 to 2 here against Woodlands Christian Academy in the top of the sixth inning. Runner at first base is helping still. Takes that one outside for ball two. Two zero. Now the count to Savala. Left-hander stands in waiting for the pitch. And this one gets that outside corner for York for strike one. This one's hit over the third baseman, Scrushy. Tried to backhand that one, but took a high bounce there and goes into left field. Eason getting it back in. It's going to be a single for Savala. The Pioneers have now batted around here in the sixth inning. It's going to be Tyler helping still, who let off this inning with a double to the wall. Runners on first and second, two outs for the Warriors, trying to get out of this one. And this one's ripped into right center field, right in the gap. Quick and level going out there. It's going to be quick getting to the wall. That's going to be a two-run double there by helping still. Start off the inning with the double. Came in and got another double. And back to the Pioneers, this is game hitter, number 16, Zach Brownlee. Lutheran South now leading 14 to two. Here in the top of the sixth inning, two outs for the Warriors. Runner at second is helping still. It's gonna be a bunt by Brownlee, the designated hitter. And he's gonna be out. At first on the sacrifice bunt, long inning. Warriors see 10 batters, they get out of it, but not after giving up seven runs on that one to bring our score now. Lutheran South 14, Woodlands Christian Academy two.
bottom of the sixth inning. The Woodlands Christian Academy trailing Lutheran South 14 to two. It's gonna be a new batter here for the Warriors. It's gonna be number 14, Nolan Newcomb. Taking the first pitch inside for ball one. Lutheran South coming off a seven run inning, six hits, back to back home runs. And they now have a 14 to two lead over the Warriors. That pitch is low for ball two. And it's Blaine Berkelbach on the mound for his fourth inning of work. And that one's in for strike two. Excuse me, one and two the count here to Newcomb. And that check swing It's going to let them ball. It's going to be two and two now on the count. Newcomb coming batting in for second baseman Drew Yeary. As now the Warriors have to score at least three runs to stay into this one. Skids in the run rule territory. And that one, Newcomb watches go by him for strike three, first out of the inning for the Pioneers. Everybody for the Warriors. Number nine, Austin Bellicans. It's Austin Bellicans. Back in the game for the Warriors. And takes the first pitch low for a ball. Warriors have had opportunities in this game, have left seven on the bases, not able to get the hits when they needed it. This one fouled back for strike one. Berkelbach on the game has been fantastic. It's only allowed one run, and that was off a error off him. Coming off the mound off a of bunt, from Kai Parker. Parker ended up getting a triple off the missed throw over to first. Check swing foul by Veldikins. Over there down the third baseline. Count remains at one and two. Berkelbach with five strikeouts on the game so far. That off speed pitch didn't break for him there and that remains high for ball two. 2-2 two -two now the count with one out. Veldikins the batter for the Warriors. This one hits it over to the second baseman, Stanilin, who runs in a little bit and grabs that line out of the air for out number two. Warriors are one out away, and it's going to be another Nine batter. Warriors, number 17, Ethan Kukovic for the Woodlands Christian Academy. It's gonna be Ethan Vucevic coming in for the Warriors and he takes the first pitch outside for strike one. Ethan Vucevic coming in for Jaden Scrushi, number nine hole hitter. Swing and a miss by Vucevic and it's strike two. Warriors one out away from a 14 to two loss here to Lutheran South. And that one dots that inside corner for strike three. Vucevic didn't think so, but that's going to do it for the ball game. As it did go into run rule inning. The run rule situation here. It's going to be the end of the game here for the Warriors in the bottom of the sixth inning. Just unfortunately could not get it done at the plate today, as well as giving up 10 hits, a couple of back-to-back -back bombs to Lutheran South. That seven runs scored in the sixth inning really hurt the Woodlands Christian 
academy there. So they gave up that three-run homer. Another home run to Drew Staniland. That's going to do it for me out here at Warrior Field. Kyle Harris, thank you all for listening to TWCA Baseball on Vibe Live. Final score for the last regular season game for the Woodlands Christian Academy. It's going to be Lutheran South Pioneers coming out with the win 14 over the Woodlands Christian Academy Warriors 2.